Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to this second video tutorial on staking the SCRT or the secret network token. In my previous video, I cataloged my experience with finding the Kepler wallet extension, downloading that extension, installing it in both the Google Chrome as well as the Brave web browser. And then I demonstrated how to get your tokens off of Binance because that was the boat that I was in. I had Enigma tokens that were auto magically converted to the SCRT secret tokens. And I wanted to get them off of the Binance.com exchange into a wallet where I could hold on to them. And then I stumbled upon that Kepler wallet extension that allowed me to actually stake the tokens in the Kepler wallet. And so in this video, what I'm going to be covering is I'm going to talk about upgrading Google Chrome. I'm then going to upgrade my extension. When I logged in this morning to take a look at things, I went ahead and I clicked refresh to see what the staking has been doing over the last 14 days. And so as you can see, I initially staked 292 SCRT tokens and in 14 days, and actually it'll be 14 days tomorrow at noon, uh, I'm going to have three point, you know, and change. So a little over three secret tokens I've earned from simply staking with Citadel One. And then I had received a tip. So I took that tip and tried to go ahead and stake it as well. And I figured, why not? Let me try some other validator here. And I'm going to talk about the question I received regarding the qualitative differences of the validators. And to answer that question right up front, actually, I am not very clear. Uh, again, I'm new to SCRT and I'm kind of just cataloging my experience, hoping to maybe save somebody some trouble and some time. So I'm not very clear on the qualitative differences. My thing was, I simply looked and said, well, secret, to secret nodes is number one, but they're charging 5%. Citadel one's number two, but they're only charging 3% commission. So I decided I would go with Citadel one for the majority of my tokens. And then on the tip, I went ahead and put that along with whatever the remaining balance was into secret nodes. And you can see I've only earned 0.08. In fact, I think if I go to withdraw this, it's I think the fee is 0.07. And we're going to see that because I'm actually going to claim my rewards and then I'm going to restake all of my secret. And I'm going to talk about the airdrop that's supposed, supposed to be coming up here at the end of the month. But when I went to refresh the wallet this morning or the website, um, you can see here it says your Kepler extension is outdated. And so we need to update that as well. So I'm going to update the Google Chrome web browser. In this video, I'm going to update my Kepler wallet extension. I'm going to claim my rewards, unstake everything, and then I'm going to restake it. And I'm going to do it with Citadel One. And the reason I'm going to be staking with Citadel One is because I had seen that they're talking about this new SEFI. Uh, airdrop that's going to be coming. And if you're staking secret via Citadel One, and I'm assuming that other wall or other validators are doing this as well, but I'm already using Citadel One. I'm very happy with it. I haven't had any issues. So I figured I would just continue to do that. Now, when you click on this, and I'm going to put all the links to these uh, sites. This is a Reddit post where I initially saw it. I followed it to Twitter. And then ultimately, it takes you here. And this is just two days ago where uh, the Secret Network had announced the SEFI Native Governance Token. And I'll go ahead, I'm not going to read this to you, you can go ahead and read it through yourself, but it appears that if you're staking Secret, SCRT, that you would be eligible for this airdrop that's going to take place. And I've also seen that the Kepler wallet will be supporting this airdrop. So that might actually be why we have this update possibly, right? And we'll walk through the update as well. Now, one thing I did see, and again, this is just, I saw somebody else post this up, that their impression or interpretation of this is that you need to have at least a thousand dollars of secret staking in order to receive some of this SEFI these SEFI governance tokens. Now, I don't know if that's accurate, right? I do have over $1,000 worth. And so in a couple weeks from now, I'm going to come back and report on everything. 
Um, but this is what I want to do, right? I want to get the upgrades done. I want to walk through everything to show you exactly what I'm doing. So first things first, let me go ahead and update Google Chrome and I'll click relaunch. And hopefully it doesn't take too long. It looks like it's relaunching already. All right. And so here we are and we're back. Now, my experience was, and you can see we've got some pop-up Kepler windows there. So my experience has been that when you relaunch the browser, and hopefully this is going to cooperate, and it did, that you then need to enter your password in for your wallet uh, to unlock the wallet. Now, let me go ahead and enter that password in. Let me get logged back in. And you can see that it defaults out to Cosmos. And I had documented this earlier in my previous video. So we're going to come to the secret network. Now, you'll notice that I have uh, just over or just close to 600, I guess, 583 uh, secret tokens. Now, uh, I want to touch on this as well. That is not the private address, right? In my first video, I had written this down by hand uh, and then went to the deposit and then tried to write that down by hand and obviously made some mistakes, which is why if you simply click here, it's going to copy that address. So if you wanted to provide that address to somebody for uh, a deposit or an exchange, that's how you can do it. So that is your public address. So I apologize about that. In the first video I did, I had commented that that is the private address, but it is not. To get to your private address, you actually click on the little uh, person icon, and then you see this dot, dot, dot ellipses here. You would click on that, and that's how you can view your private key. And it makes me a little worried that it's so close to delete account as well. So that's where you can find your private key. Um, I don't see a need for the private key other than, you know, keeping a copy of it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, because you're normally you're going to be providing your public key. So that's the public key. And here's what I've got right now. And so hopefully this is going to go smooth or this could end up in a crash and burn scenario here as we upgrade this wallet. So let's find out uh, what's going to happen and how we upgrade the wallet. So again, I would come here. I'd simply click refresh here and you can see it has me logged in uh, and it doesn't appear or maybe it auto magically upgraded when we did that. So I'm going to follow the upgrade instructions anyway, because I had read through them previously and didn't do the upgrade. So you would come to the little, uh, vertical ellipses here. You would click on that. You would come down to more tools and you would come to extensions. And so if I click on extensions, it brings you into this screen here and it shows you the different extensions you've got. You can see Google Docs, JSON, Viewer, things like that, Cisco WebEx, and here's the Kepler wallet. So I'm going to click on details because I'm interested to see if it upgraded and take a look at that. So by upgrading the Chrome browser, it saved me from having to come in here and do this upgrade. And let me walk you through, if you don't upgrade Chrome for whatever reason, and you wanted to upgrade just the Kepler wallet, you need to click this little uh, slide up here on the right so that it slides over to developer mode, right? You see that? So when you move it to developer mode, you can see that you can load, unpacked, pack extension or update. And the update button, it says update extensions now, is that you would click on update and any extensions would be updated. However, we have the latest Kepler wallet. So good news there, because my concern was that I upgrade the wallet and I lose everything that I've got staking in that wallet and not staking in that wallet, that I would lose everything in the wallet. So here we are back in the Kepler wallet. So what I'm going to do now, I showed you how I upgraded my Chrome browser and that auto magically upgraded the um, Kepler extension to the 0 0.80, which was advertised there at the top of the screen. And so um, now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to claim my rewards, right? So I'm going to try to claim these rewards here, and then I'm going to stop staking, and then I'm going to try to stake everything with Citadel One. So let's do that. So if I click on the wallet here, and again, I haven't done this before, so let's see what happens. So there's 3.1 total, and you can see you know, if you were to add these together, it comes out to 3.1. So the wallet does reflect the multiple validator staking rewards that are there. So I'm going to click claim and let's see what happens here. So we'll go low. I'm going to 
pick the lowest, the cheapest, right? Because it's very, very fast. And so I've got two staking rewards that I can claim, and I'm going to click Approve. And again, the cost is going to be, it's kind of small there, 0 0.028 SCRT. So again, I've already got 3.1 in there, so this is not a very big deal here. So let's go ahead and click Approve. And you can see right up here, Google says, uh, Transmit is pending. Wait a second. And so let's see what happens here. And my hope is it goes into my available and shows up as 286 or 285 and change, something in that range. And so we're still waiting here and we'll give it a second. Now, while this is working, I wanna tell you something that I did do two Saturdays ago when I first kicked off my staking, is that I staked my coins and then the following morning, I had, again, like I said, I had received a tip. And so I tried to put that tip into Citadel 1 at the exact same time that as I was already staking. And what happened was it allowed me to do that, but the pending staking reward, which, you know, it was 0 .001 something. So there was really nothing in there. Reset to zero. So be aware of that. If you're thinking that you can do an additive type of a staking. My experience was that when I tried to do that, I tried to add in these eight SCRT tokens into the Citadel one, it actually reset my staking to, or my staking rewards to zero. So now this is interesting. You can see here, this is kind of spinning. So let me click off of it and let's refresh here and see what we get, see if anything pops up. All right, so take a look at, oh, and of course, you know, I got worried, I was starting to get worried there that something was wrong, but I refreshed. I just didn't wait long enough. And then my transmit su succeeded. Congratulations. Now here it shows no rewards, but it shows I'm still staking. So let's come back up here to the wallet and look at that. Fantastic. I've got all three of those secret tokens and you can see it is staking immediately again. So here's what I want to do. I want to unstake everything right? Or I guess what I could do is just stake all the available to the Citadel one. And that would put me at like 500 and something there. So let's do, because again, the total is zero anyway, right? So instead of unstaking, let me go ahead and stake uh, with Citadel one. And so you can see here, I click on stake. It kind of brings me out to this dashboard and so let's click on manage. And so here we go. So I'm going to, uh, and show, so it shows my delegation here. And um, let's do this. I'm trying to remember how I did this before. Yeah, so I just basically clicked on that and I said, okay, I'm gonna do 286. And let me figure out here, I'll do 286.5. One, two, three, four. Oops, 286.5, there we go. Uh, because my guess is there's gonna be some sort of a cost to add these into that Citadel one. So I'm gonna delegate these 286 to Citadel one, and I'm gonna go 0.02. Now, do I have that 0.02? Yeah, I should make that. All right, so we'll do that. And again, there's no rush. And again, I'm choosing the lowest, probably slowest speed. So let's approve that. And you'll see if, if, if this works like it did last time, when I tried to stake on top of coins our tokens, I was already staking with Citadel one. What happens is it sets it back to zero. So my hope is it does that so that you can see, hey, be aware of that, right? I don't know if it impacts, and actually no, it does. It doesn't, that is the pending reward, right? So that is going to impact the pending reward when you do that. At least it did for me the first time. Let's see what happens here. And again, this is pretty good chunk of secret here, 286.5. And obviously, again, I went the cheap route, so that's probably why we're waiting a little bit longer here for this to sort itself out. So again, um, please use your best judgment. Make sure you you know back things up on your own and take a look at that. Congratulations, succeeded, and yes, it did. So if you are staking and you have pending rewards and you try to piggyback and do like an additive thing like I just did, to say, oh, hey, I've got 300 secret tokens. I'm gonna to add those in to my staking. And again, my experience 
was with Citadel One. That's where it happened. I don't know. I can't tell you if that would happen up here with secret nodes or not, but that is what happened when I did it with Citadel One. And you can see it did it again. It set it to zero, right? So my assumption here is if you try to add tokens in to Citadel One to stake and you already have tokens that are staking, you lose your pending rewards and it resets it back to zero. So be very, very aware of that. Again, Citadel One, that's where I saw this. I don't know if that's what happens with secret nodes. And let's take a look at the wallet here now. So let's click on the little extension and take a look at that, right? And boy, oh boy, this thing's staking away, right? So we're already at, uh, you know, 0 0.000309. I'm staking 587. So the available here is 0.15. So let's see if I can stake with secret nodes. And let's see if I can wipe that out by adding in what would be um, a really small amount. And so I think it was 0.02. So I could put 0.1. So let's try to drop point one in there, right? And again, I'm just doing this so that we can check to see, and there's probably a minimum that needs to go. So unfortunately, uh, well, maybe it's just the decimals. Let me just do point one and see what happens. Yeah, it doesn't like that. So it looks like there's a minimum, right? So we learned that it looks like there's a minimum. And so that's not gonna work. Uh, and again, what I could do is undelegate these eight that are here and move them from secret nodes down into this with this other group, but it's okay, right? Because the wallet is uh, adding the rewards in all together, right? So it's okay to leave those eight there. And I'm gonna leave them there because I'm interested in seeing if this airdrop, and again, I'm way below a thousand dollars there. So probably not going to see uh, the airdrop there. So what have we covered at this point? Well, I went over the upgrade of the Chrome browser, which auto magically upgraded your Kepler wallet extension to 0 0.8.0. Uh, and in fact, let me make sure I get that right. So it was, and you come down here to more tools, extensions, and yeah, 0 0.80. That is the latest, greatest Kepler wallet. And again, that was the message I received this morning telling me, hey, you need to upgrade. Hopefully it's going to be for the airdrop. And then I clarified that is not the private address. And I apologize for that um, coverage in the first video where I blacked that out. That is your public address. You just simply click on it. You can copy it. You can share it out. And we also went over um, basically claiming the rewards. We saw how that worked and it dropped them right into my available SCRT. And then I showed you how to take all the available SCRT and the time to do it is after you claim your reward, like right after you claim your reward, if you're gonna restake, then restake everything because as we saw with Citadel One, it ends up resetting your staking rewards. All right, so we, uh, I'll be back in two weeks to talk about uh, what I'm doing here in terms of staking, uh, how many tokens I've earned to give you an idea. Again, I had like 3.1 staking right around 300 tokens, 301 secret tokens. And after 14 days, I had 3.1. And that's at this, uh, you know, the 33% here. And now I've got 587. So my guess would be in two weeks, I'd probably be looking at about six, six and a half secret tokens. And whenever that airdrop uh, happens, I'll be sure to post up something new there. Again, hopefully this is going to help somebody else out there who's trying to do the same thing I am. Uh, and again, this is my experience. Please be careful when you're doing all these things. And I am not responsible for any tokens that are lost, stolen, uh, your wallet crashes, whatever the case may be. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this has helped you out. Have a great weekend.